If you're interested in buying a new ride on lawnmower, but aren't sure how to choose which one, we'd like to help with that now. DW Tool Shop have been involved in the garden machinery industry for over 40 years now and we'd like to share some of the knowledge we've built up in that time to help you make the right decision. The most common question we get asked is what size do I need? And while there's no fixed rules around that, <coughs> because even a small lawnmower can cut a big lawn, it'll just take a bit longer, we have put together a bit of a size guide and that's available on our website. For this we've split gardens that need a ride on into three sizes, medium, large and extra large. Medium is a garden size of up to 2,500 square metres or 0.6 acres and for this we would recommend a mower around 65 centimetres or 25 inches. Large is a garden size of up to 6,000 square metres or 1.4 acres and for this we would recommend a lawnmower in and around 92 centimetres or 36 inches. Extra large is a garden size of up to 10,000 square metres or 2.4 acres and for this we would recommend a lawnmower of up to 125 centimetres or 50 inches. There's other things to consider as well, not just the size of your lawn. You need to think about things like garden gates. Do you have to fit through a certain gate size or the door of your garden shed to get the lawnmower into? So take these things into consideration as well. Another popular question is around mulching. So what exactly is that? Mulching is where the grass is kept, cut and kept underneath the deck until it's turned into a fine dust and dropped out. And that's instead of blowing it up into the grass box and taking it away to tip it. There's a number of advantages around that. One is that you don't have the time spent driving backwards and forwards to where you tip the grass. And the second one is the space that your grass tip takes up that uh, you don't need that anymore because the grass is dispersed across your lawn. There's also a number of things to be aware of when doing that. Whenever you mulch, you only take the top third off the grass. So in peak growing season, you'd need to be mowing three times in a two week period, or ideally twice a week to make sure that you keep on top of it because long grass doesn't mulch particularly well. Also, wet grass doesn't mulch particularly well, so ideally you would do it in dry conditions. A lot of ride-on lawnmowers come with mulching as a secondary feature. So it can do both mulch and collect, so you can always adjust to suit the current conditions. When researching ride-on lawnmowers, you may have come across the term hydrostatic transmission and wondered exactly what that was. So lawnmowers come with two main types of gearbox. Manual, where you have four, five, or maybe six set gears, or hydrostatic. And hydrostatic works slightly differently to the manual in that it's kind of like an automatic gearbox in your car. They'll work on either a lever at your hand or a foot pedal. On this example you can see it's a foot pedal and the further down I push the pedal the faster the lawnmower goes. And a couple of the advantages that come with this are that it's very easy to adjust your speed so you can speed up very easily or you can slow down to go around an obstacle or through a narrow area. And then also you can go into reverse very quickly just by using the other pedal. Another popular topic is how does this cope with wet grass? And ideally you would always mow in the dry, but because we don't have a climate like the south of France, you just have to work with the conditions that you get. So we would recommend doing a couple of things if you're mowing in wet grass. The first one is to lift the deck up a little bit higher. And what this does is it allows more airflow in underneath the deck and also reduces the volume of grass that the lawnmower has to deal with. If you could slow down your forward speed and mow a bit slower than you usually would, this will also help reduce the volume of grass that the lawnmower is getting. Another thing to be aware of is that wet grass can stick to the underneath of the deck. So we would recommend regularly cleaning that off just to keep the airflow working properly underneath there. People also ask us, can my ride-on be used for other things apart from cutting the grass? And with most mowers, a tow hitch will come either standard or as an optional extra and you can get all kinds of garden accessories like trailers and fertilizer sprayers to help you get the maximum value out of your purchase. You may also wonder if you buy a lawnmower online how will that arrive with me and we have done a detailed video on this and the link will be in the description but we will have the lawnmower built and ready to go whenever it arrives with you. We hope this has answered some of the questions you may have around buying a ride on lawnmower. If you want more information on individual models, please visit our website dwtoolshop.com and you can see all the models we have listed available. 
If there's any, th any other questions you have around this or something you feel we haven't answered, please drop us a, an email or a comment below and we'll do our best to get back to you.